Hello everyone, Andrea Mills here. Today I want to talk to you about transitioning or making the transition from a more laid back homeschool style to a more structured homeschool style. Now we've always used ACE for homeschool, so we've always had a more structured homeschool style. So I haven't had to make that transition from one style to another, but I do know what it's like when we come to the end of our summer break and we have to get back to school after having lots of fun and lots of time off. So I still employ these ideas or these um, methods, even though I have always used ACE. So the first thing that I would advise is to talk about the changes before they happen. So I'll spend some time talking about what the new method or the new, you know, what the new year is going to look like, some of the things that I've got planned, and about the fact that it's going to be difficult transitioning back, but we're going to make it through. I always tell my kids there's going to be things you like and things you don't like, but we'll get used to it. And I feel like just having that conversation and acknowledging the fact that they might not like it and it might be difficult goes a long way to helping them get through that rough beginning patch. And myself too, because I need to be reminded there's going to be things that I don't like, but I'll get used to it too. We will make it through. I also like to talk about some of the fun things that are going to be maybe different than what we've done before and try to build up a lot of the positives or don't pretend like there isn't any negative, but really um, try to focus more on the positive changes that you're making. The next thing I like to do um, is to prepare all of our supplies ahead of time, um, like doing our binders that we do. And if you want to, you can check out my channel on how we make our homeschool binders. But getting the kids to help with that I think gets them more excited. So of course we all know that how exciting it was to go school supply shopping. So even if you're starting in the middle of the year, I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and do it again if you can afford it or even just go to the dollar store, maybe get some new pencils and erasers and things. But go ahead and go shopping and get your new binders set up and get everything all ready so that there's a little sense of enthusiasm about what's coming in the future and kind of you know build up that excitement a little bit. In addition to getting the homeschool binders set up with the new paces and all that, go ahead and make sure that you have score keys ready and uh, score pins and things like that if your kids are old enough to be doing their own scoring. And that's also a positive that you can build up to them is the fact that they're going to be more independent eventually and it's going to be exciting that they're going to have kind of more uh, be more in charge maybe of what they're doing every day. My last tip is to have a schedule in place ahead of time. Even if it's not going to be your long-term schedule, to at least have some sort of an idea of, if nothing else, that very first day of what you're going to go through that day. And I sometimes will just put it on the dry erase board. At, at 10 o'clock we're going to start this and at noon we're going to eat lunch and at one o'clock we're going to go for a walk and at three o'clock we're going to do this and have kind of a, a set thing for the day that's not dependent on how much work they got done. So especially as you're transitioning we're going to work for a certain amount of time and if we don't get it all done in that amount of time that's okay. We're going to stop at the end of that time and move on to something else. Eventually you're going to want to work them into getting all their work done in the time allotted but to begin with, we don't want to overwhelm anybody. And as you're preparing for that first day, it's a good idea, I think, to walk through it in your mind, you know, from the time you get up out of bed in the morning till you go to bed that night. Just kind of walk through in your mind how you imagine the day going. It's kind of a mental schedule for the day. And try not to plan extras for those first few days. So try not to plan to go anywhere, um, outside of the home and just really be able to focus on getting some structure set into the day without having to run off and do other things. Plan to alternate your subjects so that you aren't just sitting for a long long time doing one thing, especially if somebody gets overwhelmed. Plan to break it up every 15 or 20 minutes to work on something different and then come back maybe to something that wasn't finished. So maybe have 
set up in you know a routine of which subjects you're going to do in which order and of course this is probably I'm certain it's going to change later but for that first few days maybe do the most difficult thing first and then get easier and easier but try to do back and forth between hard mental work and um, just more reading subjects and some people start with just maybe two subjects at a time and then in a few days add some more until you're getting the full uh, amount in there but just try to ease into it and be flexible if they need to get up and move around and you know run off some energy or whatever go get a drink or have a snack or whatever be all right with that in the beginning just don't be so all right with it that you don't get your structure built in that you're looking for but don't have too high of expectations to begin with and the day will probably go better than you think in some ways and worse than you think in other ways but it's only going to be the first day i always remind myself it's just the first day it's just the first week you know it's not going to be this way forever we're gonna we're gonna get the hang of it and you will be all right so next time I'm going to talk about the big day and actually putting some of this into place. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to make sure to keep watching some of our ACU homeschool videos and check out our channel to see all the other stuff that's on there and we'll see you next time.